Oops. <laughs> this video has been a bit of a mess. So I apologize. <laughs> I have seven inks to share with you guys today. I've lost a big chunk of the footage because I accidentally filmed everything upside down and in on my phone, which is where I do all of my recording and editing, I don't have a way to flip the image <laughs> and share it with you guys. So I apologize. Um, in, instead of starting with the top ink, which is a noodler's ink, we just start somewhere in the middle. Um, so here we go. What I do is I like to make these little bars to show the shading of the ink and if there is any shading. And shading is like, you know, when it goes from light to dark, generally the ink pools um, in a certain place and dries, you know, it really dark uh, on the bottom and then is lighter where the ink doesn't pool. And, it, and shading inks are my favorites. I love shading inks. I'm not a big fan of sheening inks um, or glitter inks for that matter. I just really like shading. And then I also test the dry time. And then here I've tested the water resolve, how um, waterproof it is. And none of these are very waterproof. What I did is I wrote a little sentence out. Um, I put a drip on part of the words overnight. I let it absorb into the paper and dry on its own. And then for the other two drips, uh, one I, I put it on the paper and I absorb it right away. And then the other I kind of like smear it around to see if any of the words can remain. So I really apologize for how this video turned out. I've been asked a lot to make a, an ink video and <laughs> of like you know greater capacity and I tend to not just because it is it's really overwhelming for me there's so many different aspects of an ink to discuss and I have so many inks um, I decided to start here because I happen to have these seven pens all inked up and that just you know felt right and made sense um, but again like I ended up losing most of the footage for this video anyways <laughs> so I was like bummer that um, but hopefully this is still a helpful video for you and you can get something out of it. Shikiori, uh, the Sailor Shikiori ink actually stays quite well on the paper. And then here we can see if there's any bleed through. There's some ghosting, obviously. There's some, some bleed through where the ink was like super, super condensed, but obviously that makes sense. Um, this is also perforated paper on the, in the back, and that's why that bled through. But for the most part, I think this paper hand, handles the inks really, really well. This has a little bit of shading. You can see it up there at the top. It's also one of the wettest inks in this particular batch. This one has some sheening. This is a really beautiful ink and it's complex. It has the shading, has a little bit of sheening, it has a lot of colors, it goes on really nicely. Of course, it all depends on the nib as well. You get a fatter nib, you have a better um, expression of the ink. There tends to be more shading or sheening or glitter or whatever shimmer whatever ink uh, quality you have is just expressed better in a fatter nib it's just that's plain and simple um, but i think these all did pretty well the shikiori ink has a lot of sheening and some shading but also it like feathered just a tiny tiny bit again i apologize for how all over the place and unorganized this video turned out to be but if you do have any more questions please just ask me in the comments i'd be happy to answer and i hope that you still enjoyed this thanks for being here